now we will focus on the phase two of the yes associates interview for btsa in phase two you will have two rounds technical interview and the evidence-based interview you're not going to have uh, the round called case study right so now you should ex uh, expect more technical questions from uh, operating systems computer networks like now if you mention that you're good at uh, you can say if you're good at machine learning then a small program on machine learning can be uh, expected from you at the same time they can also ask you sql queries and that is very very important zs associates is deals with a lot of data right and they expect you to be good with data in every way like data interpretation dbms then sql queries they can give you a conditions a few tables they can put up uh, and then they will ask you uh, SQL queries on that. They will can also give you some question to test your problem solving skills and ask you a few guesstimates. Time and task management based question can also be asked to you in this round. At the same time, when you introduce yourself, you should be very energetic and uh, happy. You know, you should really sound professional. They want to know you from the energy that yes you want to get into uh, zs they might ask you a question about zs and then you should be clearly able to answer it also prepare a question for your interviewer in this case and expect more technical questions uh, in this round now when you're expecting more technical questions you should prepare your cs subjects for operating system computer networks and uh, dbms you should refer geeks for geeks Uh, now is in this round evidence based interview it is called evidence based interview because whatever skill uh, you mention you have to give an evidence for that if you say i'm good at python okay some certification or project you have made or they will give you some question can you write the code for it okay then they have the evidence uh, next if you mention that you are good at aws you have the certification then great you have project or you have done an internship in django then you're good at django that is how they are going to judge you at the same time uh, they will also test uh, like they can give you a few brain teasers puzzles a uh, guesstimates they can ask you in this round also also they can give you some situational questions like behavioral interview questions and they will uh, see how you respond to those questions to test your personality uh if you fit uh if they can see you in your team or at uh, you you are good for zs associates or not okay so in this round you should also remember that as it's the last round of your uh, whole interview process so you might be asked a few uh hr interview questions here hr interview questions like why zs when you mention why zs you can tell like uh, you see your growth in that area like you can tell that i want to get into machine learning and data science that uh, zs heavily deals in then the, uh, you like their culture you like uh, how many uh, how they do a lot of activities throughout the year and engage with their teammates and they have a fun environment all these things if you'll mention they can also ask you like what do you know about zs like it was founded by whom Prabhakant Sinha and uh, Zoltness. So you should know these things. Where it is uh, headquartered, how many offices it has. It has office in Pune, Delhi and Bangalore. These things, if you'll mention that the interviewer can know, yes, you really have the interest for the company. You want to get into ZS Associates. And if you have the uh, uh, aptitude, then these are the things to judge your, uh, judge your app, uh, attitude and then you'll get into the company. So any questions if you have, you can uh, put them down in the comment sections. You can also tell me uh, if you want to know about some other details you're curious about. Otherwise, thank you. That's it for this one. See you in the next one.